Now we're up to LS3. LS3 is a modified block. It's not modified very much, but we're going to work from this booklet. And we have a couple of applique footballs. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those on before I attach them to stuff or not. I will probably add this one to this tip before sewing it on. But from an assembly standpoint, we have this will be one unit, so I can attach it to the tip. And then I'm going to look at putting this onto here and then make one of these. And I could either do this way and then this, whatever. But I'm going to put one of these on here and then take these two and connect them together and then attach them. This is one unit of three to then attach to that. Same thing here. This is one unit of three. Make this a unit and then attach it to this. In the meantime, we're going to be keeping an eye on this angle when we go to assemble it. And then this is a unit of three, and this would be then attached. So it's a, it's a straightforward assembly if you break it down into little units. Um, I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to attach this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this line and make a mark or put a pin in it or whatever. And then with the ruler, either hold the ruler there and then attach the football, but I'm going to make a line somehow from that center point to the, to the tip so that I can properly center this football. I did this once before and it was kind of crooked with a different one. So I'm gonna, I want to make sure if I can improve on this this time. So that's how I'm going to find the center of this. And it doesn't terribly matter where it is because there's only one. So I'll probably just put it to more towards the tip where it looks nice. And I've got my pieces under the book here. And I have a stripe on my fabric. So I want to make sure that my directional is always right, which I don't know, except the, the square here. I'm not sure that I can screw it up much. Um, so I'm going to base this with my gathering stitch method and then um, applique this onto here. And then I'll move on to this three, three portion thing. My basting, I'm going to try to get my tags out of, so I'm going to do this one last. I'll do this one first and then these two and then this one last so that my tags can go down away from the center triangle and then I'll have to decide at that point where I want my tags for my triangle to go. So I'll get this basted and attached. So I've applicated my football onto my tip. No matter how hard I try, I can't keep it exactly, but it's slightly off to this side, but I'm going to leave it alone because it's only slightly off. So the next section I'm going to do is these three pieces that are going to form this row right here. And I will baste these and connect them. I basted my pieces. So I've got my tags going in this way. I've got, I did these two first and then these two on this side as well. This one, I did this flat side first so that my tags would go up and away so that when I base, when I got these, it's going to go into these triangles here. If I want to, I can bring these tags from these two down so they'll kind of nest into each other, but I'm not sure yet if that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to attach these together and make a row. So I've attached these in a row, and I'm going to take my tip and attach it to the bottom right here. So I've attached my row to my tip, and we have this right now. Next, I'm going to take these three pieces and make them into one unit. So I've basted my pieces. I want to make sure that my tags don't get in the way. So this is going to nest into that. This is going to go here, and then this is going to end up in there. So that so that's how I got, I got these. Did this side first, and then these. This side first, and then these. And this one I did this long, this long side, and then these other ones. So now I will stitch them together. So I've connected my pieces. On this other side, I'm not happy with the way this is connected, 
But what I'm going to do, because it's right here, it's on the outside, when I connect this, because this is going to be like this, when I connect this to the larger solid triangle, when I, when I make the uh, border, I will pinch these together and make it look like normal. I just but I'm, couldn't get this any better based on the way that the fabric was folded and stuff. So I'm going to set this up here and I'm going to make this next piece, which is the same type of thing, just the opposite side. So I've connected my pieces here. So now I have one of each kind that will eventually go here, but I've got to make these pieces. So I'm going to set this aside. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to baste this and baste this with my gathering stitch and place this on here. So I'm going to applique this onto here. And um, placement, I'm going to have to measure um, whatever distance. I'm going to have to make sure that this and this are as close as possible so that I can get it relatively straight. So I will get to doing that now. So I've got this applique and I took out the basting. So now I'm going to take this piece and baste it and then attach it to the side of the triangle. So I've attached this to my triangle. And so now I've got that ready to go. And the next section is to baste these two and connect them to each other so I can then form this 12 and 13 piece and connect it to this unit. So I've got my pieces basted and now I will get them stitched together. So I got these pieces stitched together and now I'm going to attach it to these other two pieces. So I've got my pieces connected and that's what I have on the front so far. The next step is to take these pieces that I've already assembled and attach them to either side. So I've attached this piece and you want to make sure that you've got this intersection nice and crisp and I had to force the issue here making sure this angle gets appropriately lined up. So now I'm going to attach this other piece doing the same thing. So I've attached the other corner here. So I have the top portion and this is the bottom portion and I just got to connect them now. So I've connected my piece and now I have a completed LS3 triangle.